What's going on? Brian Tong here, and it is official. Apple has announced that WWDC 2021 will be another all digital event held on June the 7th through the 11th. So mark your calendars, cancel whatever vacation plans you might have made because we're finally getting our first official Apple event in 2021. And you know, the best part of these announcements is always breaking down the invites or images that come with them because it's a science. And there's one thing that we cannot ignore. Why did Apple have to show a Memoji with glasses? And then every promo image we've seen so far has someone wearing glasses with a reflection in them. Even Greg Joswiak tweeted one of himself. Now it is WWDC and typically it's dominated by software. So is this a reference to their Apple glasses project, which has been anything but a secret. And will we finally get a first peek at what Apple's ROS looks like that was first reported by Mark Gurman. Now that's Apple's operating system developed specifically for their upcoming AR headset or AR glasses that they're working on. It's based on iOS and will take advantage of the custom systems on a chip design just for Apple's AR applications. And maybe we're reading way too into this and it's just paying homage to that moment when Craig Federighi opened up that M1 MacBook for the first time. I mean, that was cheese and I loved it. But when it was first reported, Outlet said that ROS was potentially planned for 2020 release, at least for us to see it. The pandemic happened and that changed everything. So maybe we finally get to see a sneak peek at it this time around. I know that's a big maybe, but you know what? It's on the table. Now, if you check out Apple's WWDC section on their website, they have an animation on the main page and you can see a reflection in the glasses that looks like the Mac OS dock coming into view. So... Maybe it's just all about their latest innovations with the dock. Because who doesn't get excited about that? The dock. You know, actually, I'll be honest. Like, I've always loved the dock. So now that I think about it, yeah, I do get excited about the dock. I'm that guy. But it could also just be saying we're taking a closer look at the Mac. Yeah? Yeah? No? Okay, fine. Then you do better because I love to read what you think the teaser image is mean and what it could be teasing as the big theme for WWDC 2021, put it in the comments and I guess I'll read them. Now we know the event will be online and I don't have a problem with that at all because Apple's production level on their keynotes is pretty flawless. They are direct, they're packed with information and it's a major flex for Apple to show off their Apple Park campus. Plus we don't have to keep seeing more demos of the next Infinity Blade. Thank the Lord for that. Now, last year, Apple had over 22 million viewers watching Apple streams. So if this next big event is in June, what can we really expect to see? In their announcement, Apple says WWDC 2021 will offer unique insight into the future of iOS, iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS. Now, we won't know exactly what they'll bring, but the logical next progression of Apple software includes iOS 15, iPadOS 15, watchOS 8, macOS 12, and tvOS 15. There's just a lot of hardware we are expecting already that we haven't seen yet, and WWDC normally focuses on software, but this year might be an exception, especially with all that energy around the next-gen Apple Silicon chips after the original M1 chips just blew people away. Now, 2020 was really this kind of clean visual refresh for macOS. Big sir! And I loved it, but this year it's time to see some new functionality that takes more advantage of the processing power of the new Apple Silicon. It could be the M1X or M2 or whatever they end up calling it for whatever machine, but I'm excited for that. Now we know 2021 is truly gonna be the year of the Mac, but there's two other things that I'm really curious to see. First is the evolution of the Apple Watch with watchOS 8. I know we've heard all the health sensor rumors with potential glucose monitoring sensors with the Series 7, now, this is more likely to make a jump with the new hardware, but while we wait on that hardware, will we finally get a more independent Apple Watch that doesn't require an iPhone to set it up? They've kind of been pushing towards that direction, but they haven't gotten there. For me, that could completely change its sales trajectory and then just open it up to all users and not just iPhone users. And then the other WWDC product that I am personally invested in is the iPad Pro and iPad OS. The iPad hardware didn't do too much in 2020. Look, you got one more unlocked graphics core. Ooh. And then you had a new ultra wide camera and a LiDAR sensor that people still aren't using. None of that changed the experience significantly. And I didn't use it any different than my 2018 iPad Pro. That's why I returned the 2020 model and kept the 2018 one. 
because last year was really all about the Magic Keyboard. So what new functionality and software features are we getting from iPad OS in 2021? Because for me, this is the opportunity for them to take another jump and making it even more of a hybrid device. And will we finally see any pro apps from Apple running on it? I know some of you are still asking for multi-user access. Um, keep hoping, but I do have big hopes for the iPad Pro and its software at WWDC, and I want them to show me something. I also could be completely let down, but look, you have that, plus there's all those other products that are just looming large, like the rumored AirTags and new iPads before Apple even made their official announcement for WWDC. Some people couldn't control themselves and had to jump the gun with uh, these Apple April event preview videos. And this is after, right after the whole March event that was happening, but didn't happen. Now, I wasn't going to do that even if it gets the views. Look, John Prosser lost his eyebrows because of it, people. But I have never seen Apple announce a major event and then announce a major product before that event. Now, if I'm wrong, maybe someone out there can remind me. But maybe, and I'm emphasizing maybe, there is no April event or even an announcement this year. And Apple's just going to hit us hard with all the OSs across the board and then just hold off on the new iPads and AirTags until June. I do find that hard to believe because all the latest software beta show that the Find My app is just ready and waiting for the AirTags to go live. But I am just throwing out the possibility that maybe Apple holds onto everything for June or, you know, they could just drop it within the next couple of weeks. But if something happens in April, you know that I'll be all over it. And fun fact, the legendary Prince, his birthday is June 7th. So that's going to be a real important day this year. But WWDC 2021 is set for June 7th to the 11th. And you know that I'll be doing a live stream on my YouTube channel right here when it goes down. All right, that's going to do it for this video, everybody. If you like what you see, give me that thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell. Ding! To get all my videos when they drop. Plus, if you want more Apple goodness, you can check out my Apple Bits XL audio podcast to get the latest deep dive with all these stories and new ones every week with special guests. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time. Take care and be safe. Peace.